Can we have an applause for a maid of honor? You're not Do you know how I'm I think we all know my. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I love this See? like that. Well, Why'd you do that? You did that shit on purpose. Big Brother's Prerogative. Go ahead. Jimmy. <laughs> As my brother did a better man speech, I think we all know my sister is the better version of myself. She's a better version of us. It would, we all know that's right. For real? No. It was an honor to be asked to stand next to her today. I would like to start by thanking everyone for coming out tonight to make Sarah and Chris's night special. On behalf of the bride and groom and our family, I would truly like to thank each and every each and every one of you for joining us tonight for this special occasion. That's it? No. Okay. Got ten cards no, here. here we go. <laughs> Sarah and Chris, first I'd like to congratulate the both of you. I know how much work, time, sweat, tears, and dedication the both of you have put in today to make today so beautiful. You guys are truly meant for each other. The two of you make us all extremely proud. The two of you love so deeply, especially one another. Over the last eight years, the two of you have went from children to, to the most responsible young adults. And as both of your sister, I couldn't be more proud for who you are, for, for who you both have became, and how the two of you got there. Everything in between, I'm proud of you both. When my sister first came to me and asked me to be her maid of honor, I thought to myself, how the hell am I going to get through a speech about her when I had to speak on behalf of both of them? Where's your tissue? Now that the two of you have said I do, or as the both of you would say I will, Chris, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for the unconditional love you show my sister. Thank you for being an amazing father to my nephew and a hardworking father to the both of them, or for the both of them, a hardworking man, should I say. You went from literally a young boy to a grown man in a blink of an eye, and we've all had the honor to watch you grow. I don't think anyone could have asked for a better man for Sarah or Waylon. You set the most perfect, perfect example for him. You came into our family shy as hell. <laughs> but I think you warmed up quick once you realized just how loud and crazy we all were. I'm sure you thought to yourself more than a time or two, oh boy, what in the world have I gotten myself into? But guess what? You survived today. As dad would say, you totally missed your last shot, dad. Yeah, you did. Had one chance. I still got the gun. He's got a hollow bullet, so it ain't go far. He ain't paying attention. Sarah. Pay attention, old man. They talk about you. Wow, you totally look stunning tonight. As beautiful as we all imagine. To say I am proud of you would be an understatement. I want you to know that you are loved completely and exactly how you are. Even on the days your sarcasm and bossiness shines brighter than your smile. I was delighted that you found a man to spend the rest of your life with, to grow with, to build with. We both knew that if he could last a world war between you and I. That he'd last through anything. Now if we can all raise our glasses for a toast, wishing Sarah and Chris a lifetime of love, laughter, and happily ever after. Oh. Cheers. Cheers to Sarah and Chris.